questions, and basically this is to help you think about what your list building activities have been to date. Um, have you written down every, every person that you want to share Montevideo with? Have you actually done that? When did you do it? Did you do it when you were brand new? Was it a one-time activity? Did you do it when you were first starting? When your belief in the industry and the products and the company and the leadership were very young and fragile? Or is it something that you've continued to do? Does your list look like this? Or does it look like a professional tool that you would be proud to show your boss? Do you review it on a regular basis? Do you start every week reviewing what your list is? Do you know who the first five people that you're going to speak to about want to be if you're brand new or if you've been doing this for a while? Do you start your week knowing who the next five people you're going to talk to? Are you stretching and reaching up? Or are you staying in your comfort zone and reaching down? Tired people don't generally want to do this business. You probably have all heard the, the phrase, um, I'll believe it when I see it. Actually, the opposite is true. You will see it when you believe it. And it, there's four key uh, ingredients that you really need to believe in. You need to believe in the industry. You need to believe that network marketing is a superior business model over conventional business. I absolutely believe that. Woo! Um, if people knew what we knew, they would never make fun of this industry. You need to believe that our products are superior. Dr. Clayton and Mark McDonald just gave you a great introduction to our products. And you need to believe that our leadership, both corporately and in the distributor world, are outstanding, and they are. Um, when I started six years ago, I didn't know anything about this industry, but now I've met a lot of people, and everybody says the same thing about Wannabe, that we have become an exceptional company in a very short period of time. And the fourth belief that you need to really uh, develop is your own success using the Montevi system. So let's talk about that. No. Crown Black Diamond, Steve and Gina Parrott. That's so cute. They're taking a picture of us. <laughs> um, I just want to thank them because um, they're not only are they incredible friends and mentors, but they set such an amazing example. Um, they don't prejudge anybody. They share Montevi with everyone, and they are master attractors. This is a business of attraction, not promotion. You need to, I actually have this on my Outlook calendar, that um, am I a person that someone wants to follow? That's what you're looking for. And I also just want to call attention to my good friend Tina Dupart. I'm here today because I was on her list. I was lucky that I was the first person on her list. She signed me up in Montevi in probably the first 36 hours. Never underestimate what can happen in the first 48 hours. But I'm here today because she made a phone call. If she had prejudged me and thought, Kathleen won't want to do this, she's too busy with real estate, I wouldn't be standing here. So here are some of the tools to help you uh, build your list. Use the candidate memory jogger. It will help you remember the people you've forgotten. And certainly when you're first getting started, um, this is a great tool, but every once in a while revisit it because we're constantly meeting people that we forget. And this will just help jog your memory. Um, it's your job to write down the names. It's their job to decide whether it's right for them or not. We often have stories going on in our heads about prejudging. So and so is not going to be interested in this. They're already successful. Um, they're not into health products. Let them decide that. It's your job to present it to them. The other place you can um, go to is uh, the stack of business cards that you have on your desk, your holiday list, your address book. Um, here's a picture of a few examples of people that were on my initial list. Blake Di uh, Mitchell, a very successful engineer and business owner. Danielle and John Brown, um, at the time that I met them, they were working for the state of California in, in uh, mental health hospitals. And Kelly and Rob Fabros, uh, Los Angeles police officers and real estate investors. Because I made the phone call and said, I've just been introduced to this amazing way to create income, sharing wonderful products that help people feel better. I want to meet with you so you can decide if this is right for you. They have collectively earned millions of dollars from this business. Blake went on to become a blue diamond, uh, Danielle and John and Kelly and Rob purple diamonds, or Hawaiian blue diamonds. I, I think that they're glad that I called. Um, the next important thing about your list is do you have a long list? 
or do you have just a few? If you have just a few, then you're chasing the shark. You're ch chasing the, the big kahuna, um, as they say in Hawaii.